Welcome. In this short tutorial, I'll be showing you how to change your currency on Booking.com app. All right. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such tutorials. Now, first up, open up the app. Now, once you're in here, go to the bottom right and tap on your profile. Tap on it. Now, once it loads, go ahead and scroll down and find preferences. And then this section, just tap on device preferences. Okay. Tap on it. Now, once it loads, go ahead and go to device settings section and tap on currency. Tap on it. Now, as you can see here, we do have these currencies available. Okay. Now, as you might notice, we have the hotel currency or property currency. What is that? You might ask. Well, depending on the currency that is used to that particular property or place, for example, you're planning to go to America, okay? And they're using US dollars and you're currently from Philippines. You're using Philippine peso, okay? So every time you check for a hotel or a flight to America, it will be in US dollars, okay? If you select hotel, all right? Let's say, for example, you're planning to have a flight to Australia, all right? Well, that will be set to Australian dollars, okay? Now, if you want it to be a, a single currency, for example, whenever or wherever you check for a booking, you'll see just one currency, okay? You can go ahead and use the search function right here if you can't see it right away, okay? Just type it down, for example, peso right here, like so. As you can see, we have the Mexican peso, Colombian, Chilean, and Argentinian peso right here. That's basically how I do it, okay? I'm gonna be showing you a simple uh, sample right here, okay? Again, I'm from the Philippines, so I'm gonna to try to search. Belgium right here, I'm gonna tap on search. And as you can see here, it is a Philippine peso. I'm gonna go back, my account, device preferences, currency, I'm gonna set it to uh, hotel. Go back, search for Belgium. And as you can see, it is now set to Euro. Okay, that's basically how you do it. Well, I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one.